Hello everyone, this is Pranay Sai and our topic for now is Assertion and Reason. What is an assertion? It is a statement which presents an opinion, fact or comment. Along with the assertion, you are given a reason where you need to find out whether the reason is the correct explanation of the assertion or not or whether it's true or false and several other parameters as such. Before solving, let's understand a few smart tips. Tip number one, read the assertion carefully and identify whether it is true or false. Tip two, like what we have done earlier, read the reason carefully and identify whether it is true or false. You need to consider both assertion and reason as two independent statements and check for their validity. For suppose this is the assertion and this is the reason. Consider the assertion as an independent statement and find out whether it is true or false. Similarly, take the reason and identify whether it is true or false. In order to judge a statement as true or false, it is necessary to have general knowledge on different topics. It might be physics, chemistry, biology, geography, social, and many different domains. Got it? Another tip is to understand the options clearly and the options would be given as such. If both A and R are true and R is the correct explanation of A, if both A and R are true but R is not the correct explanation of A, if A is true but R is false, if A is false but R is true, if both A and R are false. If the answer lies in between these three options, you can figure it out easily. That is by identifying whether the assertion or reason is true or false. But what about these two? If both assertion and reason are true, insert or apply because or due to or so that or that's why after the assertion statement. Check whether the assertion and reason are related. Then option one is the correct answer. What if assertion and reason are not appropriate? Then option two is the right answer. You may find it confusing, but once you solve a couple of questions, you'll feel a lot better. Here is the first question. The assertion is given as such. Indian president is the head of the state. And the reason? Indian parliament consists of president, Lok Sabha, Rajya Sabha. Based on our knowledge, we know that president is the constitutional head, so the assertion is true. So as the reason, but in this case, the reason is not the correct explanation for the assertion. There are two independent events. So if both A and R are true, but R is not the correct explanation of A, we have to pick option B, that is the second option. Let's solve the second question. The assertion is, Mercury is the farthest planet from the sun and the reason is Mercury is the smallest planet in the entire solar system. We know that the assertion is wrong because Neptune is the farthest planet from the sun. If you consider Pluto as a planet, then Pluto is the farthest planet. But excluding Pluto, Neptune is the farthest planet from the sun. So the assertion is wrong. And what about the reason? Mercury is the smallest planet in the entire solar system, which is true. So the assertion is wrong and the reason is true. Now let's look for the options. The assertion is false and the reason is true. The option is D. Let's solve a final example. The assertion is, we prefer to wear white clothes in winter. And the reason is, white clothes are good reflectors of heat. In a general perspective, People do not prefer white clothes in winter. In fact, they prefer wearing woolen or dark clothes which absorbs the cold and keeps them warm. And now let's look for the reason. White clothes are good reflectors of heat. And this is true. So the assertion is wrong and the reason is true. The option is D again. This is just a basic overview of the concept. These are a bit complicated and you need to practice as much as you can. All the best.